What's up guys, GG Forex here, welcome back to my channel and we've just had CPI data released on the Forex factory so it's kind of annoying because the setups I had were beautiful right, they're, they're, they're nice setups but now it might be changed and, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through the charts, obviously the, it's only just been uh, 13 minutes since the news has been released and obviously there's been obviously a massive price action happening so it could be possible re-entries into the certain pairs I'm looking at, but it just makes things probably higher risk because you're not getting that nice discounted price or premium price that you would like. So <clears throat> let me just show you what I mean. So EU, EU price has shot past this now. I was looking for a potential retracement down here from yesterday's uh, price action news for a retest and it just never happened if I go to the 20 minute time frame You will see yesterday's price action went bang exploded Because the whole bullish intention is sort of like if I go to one hour time frame All it did was hit the mitigation block All it did was come back to this and then slingshot up again so price could come back to this area if you have a look in a four hour so a price could come back to this four hour candle tomorrow morning maybe, and then we might get some price action happening. I wanted price to come down, fill the imbalance first, so it's kind of like, do I look for price action here, or should I wait and see what happens down here? Because at the end of the day, if it's taking this liquidity and this liquidity, this is still here. So <clears throat> it could be like quick buys up to this daily point of interest. So if I go to the daily, it looks like it's gonna come up and hit this sort of area, fill the imbalance first before coming back down. So I could ride the gravy train up um, and I just need to see what price action does because it can easily just dip below a certain low, get a better price and then move up higher. So it could easily, price could, I can just, price could just come down, liquidate these lows, hit this for a better price, maintain bullish structure and then come back up. So that's something I need to watch out for on EU but so far so good the direction is correct the DXY is selling off doing what I was thinking it was going to do I was hoping the DXY is going to retrace back to this point and instead it just slammed down so price could come down further retrace test this area and then come back down so hence why when you see on EU and GU price hasn't fully retraced it's just sort of like re um, accumulated and then pushed higher. So let's go on GU for a second. Same thing here, right? Obviously the buys that were down here were the ones that I've been marking out of what price actually did. And they've been beautiful. They have respected and have come back, but they seem to be, so we've got two here, two here this week. And obviously this week could have been another one. And then I was hoping for another trade in here, but I am aware that we are trading within this daily time frame on GU, so I'm not fully digging this sort of structure here. I mean, it can do. There was four-hour price action to push price high, higher, so it could be doing this, or it might liquidate these lows, push price lower, get in here from yesterday's price action, and then go higher. So it's sort of like you need to sit on your hands and wait to see what price does in those areas on the really low time frames to see if it's a safe bet. Same with USD CHF. If it breaks this swing low, then it's confirmed and then I can just draw the fibs out, wait for a retracement next week and then push further down. Cause it's just come down and bang. So if this swing low gets broken USD CHF, then this would be a great trade. It's great price action up here is in the logical error, like I said in yesterday's video. And also on AUD USD, this was beautiful price action in a logical area. Let me just zoom out so you can see our time frame so you have a look on AU came into a logical area did a beautiful trap move I like to call it took out the lows took out the highs came back tested didn't break this high for another re for re-entry then came down boom exploded up never came back down so again we still sort of got the same issue where price has just reaccumulated and shut up. It hasn't bothered retracing, it's just come and exploded upwards. So, 
could be tomorrow morning where we might start to see some retracement and then maybe the start of next week they might be coming down to our points of interest so it's kind of frustrating because we've had i had a lot of opportunities that i've missed and obviously certain price actions just haven't happened hasn't retraced back like it has done two three weeks ago where the price action came up retraced back moved up retraced back moved up it just sort of at the moment it just exploded exploded and it's just sort of like it's not giving you a chance to get in in a, in a less risky environment if that makes sense so yeah i'm just going to sit on my hands now i've got no pendants anymore i'm just going to wait to see what price does tomorrow because it's just really volatile at the moment because it could just come back liquidate and then move up again so who knows i'll keep you guys updated right guys it is the next day um it's the 13th of jan so it is thursday and it is 20 past one in the afternoon so new york is opening in 10 minutes um if you have a look i'm in on gj now i know i said i was concentrating on dxy pairs but let me just explain to you why and that is because the DXY has been sending it in one direction. It hasn't retraced. It's got all this imbalance. It's got these possible entries where it can come back to. There's a monthly area down here where price could get to, accumulate, and then push back up and continue the bullish, bullish, bullish uh, move. Um, so there isn't really much I can do with the pairs. AUD USD never came back to test this area just shut up broke my targets and then now is in another daily point of interest which was my ultimate target so buys aren't on the table for aud usd um and nor sells i have to wait till something shows me that it wants to reverse or distribute in this logical area but then if you have a look at the daily on aussie really it's in the middle so yes you have nice targets it's in the middle so i'm really depending on what the dxy is doing to see what would possibly happen if the dxy hits the monthly and then gets like a nice um accumulation happening then we could see probably a nice distribution happening here but if this gets blown past then we could be looking for prices to retrace back up to the very top right because interestingly gu is far above everyone else look at gu and compared to where au is au is roughly halfway gu's already gone halfway and it's now in the extreme logical area so either gu is going to start distributing from here because it's now triggered a daily filled the imbalance if it blasts through then we can see gu going across this high this high these highs and potentially uh distributing in this previous area here so really i'm just waiting on a dxy to show me what it wants to do same thing with EU, daily time frame. It's coming into my point of interest for sales. I don't want to be buying past this. So again, I need to sit on my hands and wait. Um, USD CHF came down. It's now looking looking like it's going to wipe out my highly higher time frame targets, right? So I can't really get in on anything yet. Maybe when it takes out the liquidity, then it seems to have a like accumulation, and then we could see if it wants to test this area again. Maybe, but I can't do that until the DXY shows me its hand. So while I'm in a challenge, I kind of need something to trade because I've only got a limited amount of days. So if I go to the one hour on GJ. I saw this beautiful trade happening, right? And I've got another setup that's just stood out to me, right? So it came up higher. Let me just zoom out so you can see. Let me turn off the settings so you can see. So we got high sign of weakness, test, another sign of weakness. And then it came up, made accumulation, pushed through took out the liquidity and then broke down the structure so broke this low broke this low made more targets and when i saw that i got in on the fib zone which fitted in beautifully to this one hour candle right up here so I tested it came down and then broke this low so now we've got a new lower high and now a new lower low right so this could be a possible re-entry and as you can see during asian session which is this black bit right you can see price consolidating london open in the green blast through then came down took out the lows broke this low so now i'm wanting a nice retracement 
back to this area and then a chance to have another sell off from this point of interest which would be great because then I can have two one to fives that'll be 10% and that'll be almost my challenge complete which would be epic so that's what I'm looking at at the moment I'll update you guys probably towards London close but yes that's what I'm seeing at the moment this could change things because on the daily time frame this has a long way to go let me just show you that now actually so you can see what I mean so if I go to the daily, if I have a look, it's made beautiful daily equal lows. And the only roadblock to get into these equal lows is this daily candle down here. So this has a long chance, a long way to go. If I look at it, where price is now to where this daily candle is, we're looking at 500 pips. So I could get multiple order flow entries from this point of interest down to this point of interest. And it has loads of liquidity along the way. So let me just show in a four hour time frame. Zoom out. So these gray bars are daily candles where it's reaccumulated, pushed higher, reaccumulated, pushed higher. But what it's left is liquidity is liquidity below the reaccumulations. So, and it's full of imbalance as well on a daily. So this is all dirty price action that needs to be cleaned up. So which is probably why I'm seeing a nice break of structure and a distribution happening in a logical high time frame area up here. So that's what I'm capitalizing on. And it should be a nice hold all the way down. So fingers crossed this could be it i've also got an idea on eg at the moment but that's yet to be confirmed i'll let you guys know later on in the day right guys so it is 10 to or just coming up to six o'clock so it's definitely london closing the market so things are settling down update on eg eg is going really well um we're getting a nice reaction if price over here breaks this new high then this will be a new high low then i can move my stop loss just below this wick here um so that's going really well i have got targets for it to hit across the sides and also there is a order block up here which i've no i've marked down that could be a bit of a roadblock to price so hence why i'm getting out here a four hour and a four hour there so price could come up we could get another possible re-entry um on friday um before the weekend which would be nice um and try and maximize this one to three out within this space that we've got here when it gets to there then i'll see what price does if it breaks through then i'll look for a retracement and get in for another buy gj is absolutely sending it to the downside which is great um didn't quite get in for a re-entry left a little bit of imbalance and just price just kept pushing down it is price has hit a point of interest for me which was a four hour so i've said keep an eye on price action in this area so that's what i'll be doing tomorrow morning especially london open as you can see it is reacting in this area now so i've put my stop loss below the high which is here so it's not a break even at the moment but i have put my stop loss above this lower high because they can come back up and test this area and uh, fill the imbalance in before moving down again. So there is possibilities for another re-entry on this, which is great. I'm going for a one to 14 on this trade and a one to three on the other one. So that will definitely make me pass the challenge. I'm not really looking at AU at the moment because it's sort of messing about. It's sort of pushing higher, hasn't quite hit the daily area yet. GU has hit the area, but it has left equal highs. So I'm expecting possibly another push, get to the 50% of the daily in, daily um, candle, and then maybe see some breaks, signs of weakness, and then we could see a, a retest of the LPSY, which would be nice. Um, but so far, yeah, nothing really is screaming out to me on GU. I mean, this could just hopefully flag down to maybe this area, and we can see what happens, or it'll push through and then we can see what happens in this area um, for another push maybe to the upside and then claim the uh, the liquidity up here so anything can happen and keeping an eyes on it at the end of the day it all depends on the DXY what is the DXY going to do is it continue to is the price going to compress I have a feeling that price is just going to compress to the monthly and then do something like this. 
right? That's what I think the DXY could do. If we can see that, then obviously GU, EU, AU is gonna be pushing upwards still. And then until it starts to break structure on the DXY, then we can start to looking for breaks of structure on EU, GU, and AU. Um, but until then, I'm just concentrating on EG and GJ because these are the best trades that I've got. I don't really need to get into any more trades. I don't need to do any more risks. I can just manage these two trades that I'm in, possibly look for re-entries, and because they've got plenty of ways to go, especially GJ, it's got like 350 pips to another logical point of interest where I think price could go. So yeah, I'm just gonna play it safe, manage my trades, and obviously if it hits a one to 10 on this, and obviously if G, uh, EG hits the one to three, then I've passed the challenge. Um, but yeah, so it's going really well. EG's only got 50 pips to hit TP and it's already done a quarter of that. So, so that should hit TP by tomorrow and then it's just GGA um, to manage and possibly look for re-entries. But I'd like it to break that four hour swing low because um, then I know if it gets past that, then there's not really much else that can stop it, which is good. So anyway, guys, hope you liked this episode. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.